And today we want to see why you need to celebrate victory every day of your life. Any child of God that has a mindset of victory. We understand why he should live a life of celebration on daily basis. The entire Christian life is a life of celebration of total victory. Our daily Christian work is victorious Christian work. In Jesus Christ, our total victory is assured. He has completely paid the price for our complete victory. We are all therefore caught to a life of joyous victory and celebration. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, he said, But thanks be to God. Who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ? This is the lifestyle of every child of God to continually appreciate the victory that Jesus Christ won for us on the cross at Calvary. And in Colossians chapter 2, verses 14 to 15. Colossians 2, 14 to 15. It describes what Jesus Christ did on the cross. He said, I will counsel the child of our legal indebtedness who stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away. He nailed it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. What do we mean by victory? It is to overcome. It is to conquer. It is to prevail. To succeed. To fulfill our purpose and our divine assignment to be a winner to end well to break forth to fulfill our destiny that's what victory is all about what do we mean by total victory victory over every aspect of our life in our body, our soul, in our spirit. Victory over sin, Satan, and sickness. Victory over lack, death, mind, fear, and all. It is victory all round. Victory every time. Victory always. It is to have complete rest from all your enemies. And that's what God did for the Israelites. In Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 10. Say, but when you cross over the Jordan and dwell in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to inherit, and He gives you rest from all your enemies round about. Then you will be able to dwell in safety. That is what we mean by victory. Victory is being able to do all things. And that's achieved in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It is to have dominion over sin. For sin shall no longer have what? Dominion over me. It is to be to have all round healing. 
in, in our body, in our soul, in our spirit. Because Jesus paid it all on the cross of Calvary. It is to be rich in all things. To have an overflow. In the name of Jesus. That is your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. It's to be released from the fear of the devil. No fear of death anymore. Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 to 15. It is to have God, the Almighty One. The one that has never lost any battle before. The one that wins always and all the time. To have him as the captain of your warfare. That is victory to thy story. It is to be seated with God above all principalities. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 to 22. It is to be able to persevere unto the very end. Matthew 10, 22 and Revelation 21, 4. Those that endure to the end, they are the ones that are saved. Those ones that are able to endure to the very end, they are the ones that we have said have total victory. And this is the kind of victory that is assured in Christ Jesus. It is the kind of victory that Jesus was talking about when he said, It is what? It is finished. It is complete. It is all around. It is all the time. That's why the apostle said, Is the one that causes you to triumph. Always, always, say always. Always. And this is why our life as God's people is a life of celebration of what? Of victory. We are called to live a life of celebration of, of victory. And this comes as we allow victory to become our mindset. There are people that live a defeated Christian life. They expect they will be defeated. They expect they will fail. You are by destiny children of victory. The one that died on the cross of Calvary, he has prepared, he has pre-planned victory for us before even the end of the war. The life you are living now, it is being pre-recorded. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You see, somebody had another person come to his house and he was watching a football match. And it was between his team and another team. And as he was a watching, he at a point he said, Oh, no, no, that was, that was. If at, when there's a penalty, you say, Lord, let them score that penalty. When there's a penalty to be done, the man will be prayed, let them score. Little did he know it was a pre-recorded match. The match has been concluded. He was just playing the one that he recorded. No matter how he shouts and prays, do you think the result will change? No. Your life is to be recorded. The result is already known. It, it, it is like people that are acting. At times, you will see the actor. 
It's like he's going to die. But the one that wrote the script, he knows he's going to die. When he's almost dying, if you are watching for the first time, you must say, ah, 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 ah. But the one that have watched it before, or the one that wrote the script, will just be watching no emotions. Do you know why? He knows the end. The God that created you, He has a good plan for you, He has a good program for your life. Your end has been determined from the beginning. Your time has been pre-planned. It does not matter what's happening now. It is a sin. And that sin will soon pass away. There is going to be another sin. Amen. Amen. Because your life has been pre-recorded. The one that created you and I has predetermined everything concerning us. That's why your victory is assured. And that's the reason why you must celebrate every time the victory that he has won on the cross that came out. He said it is finished. I say it is concluded already. It does not matter what you are going through right now. And there were so many sins in the life of Joseph, remember? Yes. There was a sin he was right in a dry well. It looked like that is the end. But that was just a sin. God already predetermined he was going to be a king. Joseph was privileged to see that secret a little bit. It didn't look like it, it, it can ever be so. At the point that he, was, he became a slave. At the point he became a chief servant. And he might look at, oh, this is the kingdom that God is talking about. He, he might look at, this is, this is where God is taking me to. Oh, I'm the king of all these places. That, that is not where you are going yet. I say God is taking you to a greater place. It looks like you are in what you are, it looks like you are satisfied now. That is not your location yet. Something greater is about to happen. As Joseph was going to relax, behold, he was sent to prison. Another sin in his life. Ah, that's, and that's say, ah, no, I thought I had arrived. In the prison, he became the end. That is not the headship God is talking about. But God always knew the end of Joseph. God knew what it was what would become of him. Same thing God knows all about you. He has had it all planned. And the Bible says that plan he has for you is what? Is good. Not only that, that it is good. He said he will bring it to you see, you see why your life is a life of celebration. Okay. It does not matter what you are going through. Okay. That is not your end. The one that wrote the script of your life. He knows what the hell is like. He knows you are still going to rain. It does not matter the way the enemy is battering right now. How cross in your God? He is the script writer. Your victory is assured. Because Jesus completed on the cross of Calvary. Because that's the reason why he came. He appeared so to he can destroy every works of darkness. Everything that will come against you, accomplishing your purpose. 
Jesus appeared to destroy them. Tell John 3 8. You are bound to be victorious. Because anyone that's with God is what? He's a majority. He's a winner. He can never lose. Once you're on God's side, you're on the victory side. You are bound to win because your God, my God, is a man of war. You are bound to win because the battle you are going through is not your end of battle. You are bound to win because God Himself has commanded your enemies to make you untouchable. I say you are untouchable. Yeah. He has said, touch not my anointing. The one that is anointed is not just the pastor or the evangelist or the preacher. It is every child of God. You carry God's anointing upon your life. Say, I carry God's anointing. I carry God's anointing. The Lord, you think it's the pastor that carries the anointing. He, or is the bishop that carries the anointing. It is everyone that received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, you become an anointed man. Amen. You become anointed. Amen. That moment you receive Jesus. The reason why your victory is assured is because he has decreed that no weapon that's fashioned against you will ever prosper. You see, victory is sure. It shall not you. When no weapon can harm you. Victory is sure. It shall not you. When all the weapons of the people that will fight against you have been destroyed. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. He said, He made an open shame of them. Your enemies' weapons. Don't have been destroyed. Don't, don't worry about the toothless lion. Mm. The snake whose venom has been removed. Why are you panicking about that snake any longer? That's what the scripture is saying. The reason why you are sure of victory is because the one that can never lie has promised you Victory always. Victory all the time. He has promised you and he cannot fail. You are sure of victory because you are on the winning side. That that you are going through right now. God has an ultimate good concerning it. What you are going through right now, Romans 8, 27, for God works together for good, all things work together for good to those that love Jesus. That is an ultimate good. Everything that the man Joseph passed through. Joseph didn't know there was an ultimate good. Everything the man Moses went through for 80 years in preparing him, he did not know there was an ultimate good ahead of him. In that situation you are passing through, I tell you there's an ultimate good. That ultimate good is of God. And every devices, every plans, every purpose of God are unstoppable. The reason why you are sure of victory, like I've said before, is because your life has been pre-planned. I want somebody to read those two verses for me. I, 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 I want to hear it. Isaiah 25 verse 1 and Isaiah 46 verses 9 to 11. Yes, come on. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. He mocked me. He burned me. The knowledge of the time passed. He has a foreknowledge of the things that had happened or that will happen in the future. A lot of people misunderstand and confuse 
the foreknowledge of God with the justice of God. God knows everything from the beginning to the end. Yes, Isaiah 46. Yes. For, yes, from verse 9. Yes. 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 He has completed the sin of your life. The whole is completed as far as concerned. From the day you were born, he knows how you will end. Nothing can change it. It will be according to it. No forces of darkness can change it. 10,000 witchcraft and witches cannot change it. Because it is God. Our victory is predetermined. Let's open with the Psalm 48, verse 3, please. And this is Yes. That's it, Yes. 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 Yes.